The boat captain who alleges Robert Wagner killed Natalie Wood after fighting on board a yacht in the 1980s has claimed Wagner held him captive under the watch of bodyguards for a year after the actress's mysterious death. In the latest installment of the podcast Fatal Voyage, The Mysterious Death of Natalie Wood, boat captain Dennis Davern makes his most recent accusation against Wagner, now 88, who he says took him into a room the minute he got to his home. The morning I got to Robert Wagner's house from being picked up at the Long Beach Harbor there were a lot of people at the house and I was taken right up to Robert Wagner's bedroom where his lawyer Paul Ziffrin was. They told me directly face to face, this is going to be our story, this is what we're going to save story was that when Natalie went missing, that she must have gone outside her state room, because the dinghy was banging against the hull of the boat, and she couldn't sleep, so she tried to retie the dinghy, and she must have slipped and fell in the water, Davern said. Ziffern died in 1991. Share this article Share he said, was forced to stay in Wagner's home in a locked bedroom. He did not specify how long he was kept in the room, but he that it came to a stop with Wagner presenting him a check for $6,000 to buy an apartment. I believe I only got out of that house a few times. I mean I was starting to really feel claustrophobic. At night time, when I would go to my room, if I felt like I wanted to go downstairs or maybe just move around, I really couldn't, because the first time I put my hand on the doorknob of the bedroom that I was in, it was like a magnetic, like a magnetic lock. It wouldn't allow me to open the door, he said. Would who hated water and could not swim, drowned mysteriously on November 28, 1981, after arguing with Wagner on board. They had been boating near the island of Catalina with Christopher Walken, Wood's co-star who is one of Wagner's friends. Her family have long suspected that Wagner hit her and either pushed her into the water in a rage or caused her death in another way. The 88-year-old has always maintained that she went off in a dinghy on her own accord and never returned. He has not responded to DailyMail.com's repeated requests for responses to the allegations made by Davern and Wood's sister over the last several months. Lana Wood, Natalie's sister, has claimed in the past that he does not want to be interviewed because he says he cannot rely on his memory. He also did not respond when he was named a person of interest by the LAPD last year. In addition to the new remarks, Davern previously told how Wagner stopped him from going looking for Wood when she vanished from the boat. I saw the dinghy was missing and fired up the engines to start searching," he told the podcast. But R.J. Wagner said no, no, let's not do that. Let's just stay, let's have another bottle of wine," he said. When Wood was pulled from the water in her night dress the next day, she also had an injury to her head. In other episodes of the podcast, a witness called Marilyn Wayne claimed to have heard a woman crying for 20 minutes near where Wood died on the night she drowned. Well, my son had a digital watch that we had just given him. So that's how we kept the time, minute by minute, she recalled. And I was up on the deck and heard a woman yelling. Help me, somebody please help me, I'm drowning. Wayne said she told her boyfriend, John, to try to reach Harbor Patrol, which he was not able to do. 
All the while, she said she continued asking her son for the time dot so we had a minute by minute history of the time frame and the yelling went on from 5 after 11 until 11 25 and then it stopped, Wayne recalled Wood's sister Lana also said in a recent episode, I think that things got out of hand I know Natalie can verbally push, and Natalie was a very by-the-rule person, she did not put up with a great deal that she felt was harmful to her I think it escalated to a point where she was either struck or pushed. I don't believe that it was planned. I don't believe in any of those bizarre stories, but I do know she would not have ended up somewhere where she would completely never ever go in a million years or certainly not go out not dressed. There's just too much that doesn't add up to who Natalie is. The broken wine bottle she was referring to was discovered on the boat the day after Natalie vanished According to Davern's version of events, Wagner smashed it in a jealous rage because he had been watching Walken and his wife flirt and get along 